Yeah, I'm about it, Ray. How about it, Dragon? How about it, Dragon? Audio. Audio check. Audio check. Cool stroker. Thank you. What up, Chili? I'm trying to figure out where this cat went. I, I wanted to turn the mic up now. I got the video game rolling. I, I want to see something. The way, the, the way I got the mic set is the way it's got to be set whenever you throw the echo switch. Uh, without it, it's a whole uh, different ball game. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, it sounds all right over here. Nah, negative. I'm on a stock Cobra 29 LTD Chrome with my microphone. A very, very stock Cobra. But I'm looking at the meter over here, and the way, the way it's making my meter move, it really don't look stock. Then again, these new Cobras are coming out with a little more watch than they ever did, being made by Ranger. Hey, uh, Ray, where you at, Ray? And judging by the transmit meter, yeah. Oh, yeah, somebody turned this thing way up. Probably got no audio. Hey, uh, Ray. Yeah, go ahead. Do me a favor. Uh, the mic gain on your radio turns all the way up. That's the one that's sitting at one o'clock, the second knob. All right, what about now? Okay, now, back it down to four o'clock. Audio, 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 one, two, three, four. Richie Radio, Richie Radio, Richie Radio. All right, back it down to three o'clock. Give me that same rap. Richie Radio, Richie Radio, Richie Radio, one, two, three, audio, audio, audio. Alright, give me two o'clock. <coughs> one, two, three, Richie Radio, 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 audio, audio, audio. When you run the echo, it's where I showed you where I left it, where I showed you to set it with line up with that knob. When you got no echo on, you can leave it right there, man. That's nice, loud, and clear. Well, Roger, that's where I'm gonna leave it then. You'll hear the uh, you'll hear the differences in uh, the what you call it, the uh, gate. Now let's see the RF power knob. That's the outer knob. It's on the dimmer. I got it all the way to the left bottom down. The meter set about 520 on my meter. I want you to bring that up to nine nine o'clock. The RF power knob. Take it. Take it from lock to nine. Negative. The mic gain is your mic and your ears, your mouth and your hearing. One knob over, the one with the dimmer, the one that's all the way to the left, the big knob all the way, it's been all the way to the left, it's all the way down to the left. Sit that orange line at 9 o'clock. Third knob on the radio. I listen, I got to pull over to do that. Nah. Wait a minute, your destination is Canarsie Pier, right? Yeah, Roger. Ah, you ain't got to do nothing until you get there, man. What's your ETA? About 
about another 10 minutes. All right, I'm standing by reading the mail. I didn't catch who that who you were talking to there about the key down, but I'm standing by. Well, 22. Roger. Hey, um, Chili, did you hear who I was talking about now? Chili, what's that mobile sound like in your receive, Chili? All right. I, I hope uh, hope AV or whoever that was on the channel the other night would us come out and you know, um, they can hear the differences in that big time. Well, you're actually going to hear it yourself when you get where you're going, man. It's going to be a nice little demonstration because uh, we'll see what happens, you know? Oh, Roger. And yes, that, that mic, the one that comes with the chrome over here, when you look that up on the net, it, that actual mic is the noise-canceling uh, mic. Whenever you see the silver like that, the chrome like that, the, the, one, the chrome mic, the chrome cobra mic like that, that's, that's a noise-canceler. more than your three dollars worth because even i can't put that through the door for less than 19 no matter how many i'm buying so you got a good deal and a good item deuces I don't think that was Deuces. I think Deuces was in East New York on the mobile. I think the guy you were talking to was in Manhattan. Boy, it says a lot for my work in that radio station talking. So does this radio sound stock to you? Because I'm looking at the way it's transmitting, and the needle is just like <laughs> buried, buried. Well, the dead key is sitting on the three of the plus thirty. Stock radio really, really don't key that high. Um, usually they're sitting around the seven zone, and they're hardly moving up. This thing is jumping like a banshee. Nah, it don't sound stock. It sound good. Roger, right on. Who's that, Deuces? Yes, sir. All right, well, Deuces, now. Um, I heard this radio coming in, so this was the one he was talking on coming in, and I said as soon as I get inside, I'm going to put it in and make the video gate with it, let you hear it, and this is what it sounds like uh, now. Uh, by, by tonight, by tonight, it's going to be a whole different monster. Okay, I heard that I did. Uh, Ray, you want a low and high power switch put in this thing or what? Needed. Damn it. I knew he was going to make me drill a hole because I refuse, refuse to touch factory switches. I, I do it on my personal radios with the bright and the dim and the channel line and normal. But, you know, on, on other people's radios, I, I refuse to do it because it lessens the value of the radio. Unless they tell me, go ahead. Usually with my low and high switch, I drop a little toggle on the back of the radio. And when it's up, it's high. When it's down, it's low. Easy to remember, huh? Yeah, but you know what, Richie, I mean, think about it. If you use the factory switches, you don't have to drill any holes, and when you're ready to sell the radio, you can put everything back the way it was. No one, no one's um, wiser to what happened, but if you have a hole in the radio... All right, all right. Ray, what do you want to lose on the bitch, the bright and the dim or the nine priority? Uh, nine priority, I don't use that POS. Gotcha, done. Did not make it easier. Now you ain't got to go drilling the man radio. And if he wants to put it back to sell it to somebody, that's bitching. Hey, what the nice switch? He can put it back. Nobody's the wiser. Yeah, Roger D on that. Roger D on that. Although, although I could, I could do the bright and dim thing. And when it's dim, it's low. When it's bright, it's high. <laughs> you know what? Do that. Just do that. That sounds even better. All right, we'll see what happens because I'll be honest with you. 
I don't know. Uh, this is like uh, I, I didn't do any mods on, on the switches of these Cobra 29 Chromes yet. I did a lot of tune-ups on them, a lot of blow-offs, a lot of repairs with these drivers, but I, I never play with the, the those new boards that they got in front of them switches. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I will get it done, though. That's for sure. Like I said, by tonight, this bitch will be a whole different monster. Roger, Roger. Well, I'm leaving for work tonight. Uh, 11. I should be back here by uh, Tuesday afternoon. And then I do my uh, part-time gig uh, Thursday through, uh, well, Wednesday night, through Wednesday morning through uh, Friday. And I... Uh, I should be able to pick it up Friday. Yeah, well, I think, uh, um, I think, um, uh, what was I going to say? What am I doing for? Yeah, it, it don't matter, man. Whenever, whenever you want to pick it up, it's fine. Um, I just wanted to get it on the table and video gate it before, you know, I touched it there and, you know, actually I'm using, it, I'll tell you what, the blue light and, and, and the little cobras like this, I'm going to tell you, anyone I've ever used on the table, let me see. Even if I raise it up, it's still, yeah, the, the camera lens does not like the blue lights on the Cobras. You can't see the center of the meter because of the light glare. You, all you can see is the, the, all you can make out is the five on up. You know what I mean? You can't make nothing else out before that. You might be able to spot the needle meter, but the camera just don't like these, these blue lights in them Cobras. You can see the needle, you can't read the gauge. You can only read everything from five on up in the video gate. Hey, four Roger. That's four Roger on that. What's my signal to you about? I don't know, man. G give me a nice count. One, two, three, four, five. Buckle my shoes. Richie Radio repaired my radio, and I'm a very happy camper. Right now, you're up to a solid seven on me. Roger. I used to live over there, 95th between K and L. Yeah, it sounds real good. You barefoot? <laughs> nah, this radio is anything but barefoot. It's okay. Yeah, it sounds real good, though. Actually, yeah, you are barefoot. A barefoot radio is a radio with an antenna plugged in the back, and that's exactly what that is. That's a barefoot 98 VHP. Oh, okay, now you see, all right, okay, barefoot, yeah, but barefoot, that radio does like, what, 200 watts? That radio's on my video gates doing a little over 320, and once it got behind the right power and his shit, that zing's over 500. What, what are they, MOSFET? What kind of finals are they? MOSFETs, bro. You can't tell? Listen to the flat sound, you can't tell? Yep, just gotta be careful with it, make sure your antenna system and everything is up to stuff, good enough and all that good shit, them things ain't like pills. Yeah, I know, and his SWR make me nervous, man, his shit sitting at a do like a 2-1 and moving down, you know, I, I think that's the amp, but, you know, I'm sure we could do a little uh, refinement there. Um, Ray, I, I assume, because I don't hear no buzz or hum, I assume that bolt, bat bolt wires feeding that radio directly off the battery terminals. Roger. He got that noise canceling mic too, man. I'm dying to hear that. I'm dying to hear a regular stock mic without him touching that mic game at, at that level right there. He's got a noise canceler in there. Sound probably will sound better with the. It sounds good with the noise canceler. You put the stock mic in, it might be too bassy. Yeah, it might give it a little punch too. True, true, true. That's why I put a D104 on this radio because if I put the stock mic on, it's gonna sound like shit. You know, there's loud and clear, and then there's punch, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, right now, right now, I call that loud and clear. He had the punch in there, but I backed it out to the... I backed it out to, to having the best of both worlds there. 10-4? 10, four? Four, ten, four, ten. yeah, I mean, you have too much too loud, you'll be splattering all over the damn place. Did you by any chance hear that radio um, in the video games the other night? I think, uh, I forgot what label I put on it. I think we moved down to channel 30, and... I got him the best I can get him in the gate, but he couldn't touch nothing, man. And go pass out. Yo, who's that? That's Deuces. You're right in his backyard. I'm stepping back. Me and this Barefoot 29. Sure, show. Sure. Yeah, Double Deuce, man. I'm over here in Brownsville at break. Damn, Double Deuce, man. 
Yeah, he's sounding really good now. Oh well, here yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not barefoot. No way near barefoot. My feet stink too bad to be barefoot. Hey, that's my line. Oh, it is. All right. I thought I just thought of it. Oh well. No, no, no. The feet stinking. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. I thought I just made that up. I guess somebody else did. Okay. I heard somebody coming out the water talking about deuce, deuce, and more deuce, and I'm like, oh, shit, what the world's coming to? Exactly what we wanted to. Somebody out there go with deuce, deuce, deuce. And I got like, deuce, deuce, and more deuce, and I'm like, damn, I thought I'm the only one that said that. Right back to the stinky feet thing, you know. Yeah, you originated that, and I said it, but I didn't hear you saying it. I just said it because it sounded not like it made sense. No shoes, stinky feet. Bye. Hold up, what you saying? He was calling himself deuces, or he was calling back to you? He was calling himself deuce, deuce, and more deuce. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Are you kidding me? You're at the Kanashi Pier? Holy Raj. Where's the nose of that car pointing? Because you, you got an Omni, you got pretty much Omni on the roof, but I mean, like, on the way there, you were like seven, seven, five, seven wavering. You're at the Kanashi Pier, bro. You're moving in here like a 10 pounder. I'm facing the water right now. Just as you come in, that's the way my car is facing. Yeah, I bet you I could pop a dead key with this bad foot radio and you do a 360 in that spot. You'll find me. Yeah, he's sounding good coming from the pier, though. I mean, well, the radio that he has, he's pushing it. Yeah, he better sound good. Once he, once he, uh, you're sitting down now, right? Um, Dragon, you're, you're stationary. You're at the pier. You're, you're parked, right? Boy, Raj. All right, yo, dirt knob on the radio, fat back one, put it nine o'clock. The one that says dim? No, the dim is the small one, the first one, the big one in the back. Right now I got it sitting all the way to the left. It's closed all the way to the left. Bring the orange line to the nine o'clock position. Got it, got it. Walkie talkie, walkie talkie, walkie talkie! Okay, crush. How about it, radio? You got a copy? Alright, now bring it up to 11 o'clock. Alright, Richie's out there. Oi, oi. 11 o'clock. Alright, 11 o'clock. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Oh, yeah. Alright, now spin it all the way back to the left. All the way down. What's up, Tommy? What's up, Richie? A little bit of Mike action, waving the hand. The original tram man, the Browning King, the Sean all over. The unit 201 27 on the Ancient Mary dial. Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning time. I'm back on the side. And hey, Michael. You go. Wow. And hey, Mike. Michael is Anthony Action that I know. Oh, holy shit, Batman. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey Mike. Hey, Mike. Oh. Hey, Mike, I'm mad at you, Mike. I was in the mobile and I heard you while I was screwing shit in, and then when I key up and asked for the radio check, you didn't answer me. Uh, hey, Ray. Ray, you put it all the way back down? I don't know, Rich. Uh, maybe I didn't hear you or somebody was keying up on you. Uh, if I would have heard you, I would have came back to you. Um, I just jump, I'm jumping in and out today. You know, the kids are giving me a hassle, so I can't even hang out by the radio and sandbag. I'm on the unit then, but it's the Mako 750. I got it set up for audio. It's not bad on the carrier either. It's swinging from four to eight and a half. Not bad. That's just in low. I haven't put it in high since I have it. 
And I got another one, an Eagle 525. I think I'm going to use that tomorrow. Try it out. Then I got a Phantom coming this weekend, a Cobra 2000. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm at the end of my collection, I hope. So I'm running out of money. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll catch you in short. Go down to Channel 6 and ask for Dr. Love. He's looking for you. Oh, here's Carrier View. You hit me with you, man. Wherever you are right now, I think you said the Miko. That's the, this is the highest carrier you ever hit me with at all, ever. 10 4. Raj, your Raj. Sounding good. Leave it alone. I don't want to even move anything. Rich, I'll put this thing in the rack. Put it on the saw. Put it on you later. I'll wave an hand to the 31 band. Deuce and more deuce. Double deuce mobile. Wave an hand. We clear. We're going. Mike Axon. Richie Rich. Ba ba booey. Ba booey. Da booey. And all the good time, gang. I'll see ya. Ba ba ba. Yeah, I, I heard you there, Dragon. Give it a second there. Uh, uh, I want to see how, if, uh, uh, what's his name, if Ninja can hear you. If Ninja can hear you, we're doing it right. Man, listen, it's awesome. All three zones, like I told you, you got your low all the way off. That's where I suggest running it at all times.